to say I'm getting sick and tired of this Mbappé situation. I really thought that after more than a year of speculating over Mbappé leaving PSG, it would finally be done after he signed his contract last summer. And let's be honest, who didn't? This guy signed a new three-year contract worth more than 300 million euros. A guy whose value is already over 150 million with a three-year contract, a new three-year contract. So surely he committed his future to PSG, right? If you think that, you are wrong because now apparently this entitled 23 year old this selfish guy already wants to leave the club in january after just signing a new three-year contract am i the only one who doesn't understand this either this guy had a psychotic episode when he signed the contract that would kind of give him a free pass of saying i didn't want to sign this contract but since that clearly isn't the case this guy has completely lost his mind if you ask me so in this video i would like to talk about the contract situation the situation that mbappe wants to leave psg already i want to talk about the background i want to talk about what caused this situation and I'll also discuss with you guys what will be the next steps from here onward. So without further ado, let's get right into the story. The whole Mbappé trying to leave PSG for Real Madrid saga started one and a half years ago. After openly flirting with Real Madrid for a long time, it finally looked like the stars seemed to align for Mbappé that he would finally join his dream club. And everybody thought that this move would happen because not only Mbappé was eager to make the move, Real Madrid also had the number seven ready for him. They wanted to do everything to get their new Galactico signing to the club. And there was absolutely no no debate that Real Madrid really wanted this guy because they were ready to offer PSG 200 million euros to sign a player who only had one year left on his contract. So if that would have happened, PSG actually would have made a profit with a guy that was going to run out of his deal anyway. But this was a game of prestige and PSG did not want to let Mbappé go. We all know that Real Madrid is a well-established club. They've won everything. 14 Champions Leagues and PSG still haven't won a single Champions League trophy. So they thought if we're going to let our best player go, to one of our Champions League rivals, we are going backwards. So we will do everything in our power to keep this guy here. And then the propaganda started. PSG kept him hostage for the entire year, trying to convince him to sign a new deal with PSG. And I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people that thought this is never going to happen. Mbappe has to go to Real Madrid. He wants to, the club wants to. Ronaldo literally is his idol. He could play with his number seven at Real Madrid. So me and probably the rest of the world thought that PSG stood no chance. But oh boy, were PSG dead desperate. He got the biggest contract in football ever, a deal worth more than 50 million euros per year and Mbappe would become the owner of PSG. Well, okay, not necessarily that, but he would get a lot of responsibilities and he would be in charge of the sporting project of the club, which meant that he would also get to help decide which coach would train PSG and which players the club would sign and let go. If you ask me, it seems a little bit outrageous for a guy who's only 23 years old and basically has not accomplished a lot in football yet. But the deal was signed, Mbappe committed his future to PSG so everything was great right well not for Real Madrid of course but PSG got their way Mbappe got a new big deal and of course a lot of power in the club so objectively what could go wrong for Mbappe well since signing the deal in April a lot has gone wrong actually like I said before after signing his new deal Mbappe was now in charge of the sporting project of the club so he would also get to help decide which players they would sign and which players they would let go and apparently one of the players that Mbappe wanted out of the club was Neymar and this was strange for me because the first few years at the club, these two seem to be good friends. Mbappé apparently thinks that Neymar doesn't really help out the team, that he's only playing for himself, but in reality, Mbappé just doesn't want him to be the star of the team. We've seen a situation where he just stopped running mid-attack because he didn't get the ball in time. We've seen him walk away angry when he didn't get to take a penalty. And if you ask me, that doesn't really help the team. It just shows that you're a little bit selfish. And of course, Mbappé and Neymar are the big stars of the team, but there's also another certain Lionel Messi. And as we all know, Neymar and Messi are good friends. So when you go against Neymar, you go against Messi as well. And Mbappé damn well knows that. We've seen him bump into Messi during the match. And all these examples just show that the chemistry between Mbappé and Neymar and Messi just isn't great. And it's clear that Neymar and Messi think that his behavior is kind of disturbing. But I can't imagine that his other teammates appreciate his behavior either. But the situation why Mbappé reportedly wants out is because the club didn't fulfill some promises that they made to Mbappé when he signed his new contract. One of the things that Mbappé demanded for his club like I said before was that Neymar would get sold which of course didn't happen he's still playing there he's playing well but he's still at the club another promise that the club reportedly made was that they were going to sign a number nine that would play as a pivot which also didn't happen and he was also promised a new center back and they also didn't sign a center back this summer Mbappe lost his patience and now he wants out in January and he thinks that signing the contract back in April was a big mistake but let's try and look at this objectively was it really a mistake well the fact that they were not capable of signing a striker and a center back 
I think is pretty normal. As we could have seen last year, they had a major problem in midfield. There was barely any creativity and they clearly had to fix that. So they did, that clearly was their priority and signing a good striker and a good center back from the level of PSG that could help them win the Champions League is not easy. And if they couldn't find this player during the summer, okay, it makes sense. You will go again in the winter or in the next summer window. If the players aren't available, you can't just force to sign somebody if it's not gonna work anyway. Regarding the Neymar situation, apparently the club was open to listen to offers, but they couldn't find a suitor for Neymar. And still, this guy's numbers for the club are pretty decent actually. And he's been tearing it up this entire season. So actually it was a pretty decent choice to keep him at the club. But the fact that these promises didn't get fulfilled, I personally don't think it's that crazy. A lot of factors are involved in these decisions. Getting rid of an expensive player who's on a big salary is not that easy. Look at the Ronaldo situation, for example. And signing Champions League winning level strikers and center backs isn't that easy. So that, that didn't happen in two months. Again, it's just the way that the transfer market works. So okay, maybe his promises didn't get fulfilled, but there's still enough time for that to happen. But now let's have a look at his personal situation because the promises are a part of the contract. Because if you look at the team, there are still some amazing players around Mbappe that could help him challenge for the Champions League. And PSG also is absolutely loaded. So every single transfer window, they have the opportunity to strengthen the team even further. He has a lot of power in the club. That's definitely something that you won't get anywhere else. And salary wise, come on, he cannot complain. A deal worth 300 million euros. Sure, Real Madrid could have offered him the same, but definitely it didn't get much worse staying at PSG. But apart from those factors, apparently the situation is not good for Mbappe and he still wants out. So realistically, can he even leave in January and do Real Madrid even want him? Well, apparently PSG value him at 350 million euros. As it stands right now, the highest fee ever paid for a player was 220 million that PSG paid for Neymar in 2017. So the 350 million euro valuation is absolutely out of this world. Way too ridiculous if you ask me. No club in their right mind would actually pay this and wouldn't even be capable of paying a fee like this. So if PSG stick to the price, no way, no chance in hell that he would go to Real Madrid. Apart from that, Real Madrid took their losses and they went into a different direction after he rejected the club. He signed a long-term contract with PSG. He clearly wasn't attainable for Real Madrid in the near future. So right now they're building a team without Mbappe in mind. I'm not gonna lie, PSG were absolutely desperate to keep him at the club. In my opinion, they don't have the mentality of a top club. But on the other hand, Real Madrid is a proud footballing institution and you don't necessarily reject Real Madrid. In reality, that stuff doesn't happen. Nobody rejects Real Madrid. You normally don't do that. But I can tell you for a fact that a proud club like Real Madrid will not come begging after you rejected them. I always think about the Ronaldo contract situation in 2018 when he came to Florentino Perez asking him for a higher salary because he wanted to be appreciated more. And Florentino Perez had the balls to say, no one is bigger than the club. We're just not going to give you your salary. Which he said to their best player ever, their all-time top scorer, the guy who won four Champions League with the club, which clearly shows that the mentality at Real Madrid is just way different than PSG. So realistically, Real Madrid is not an option anymore. So are there other options for Mbappe to go to in January? I personally think that there are only two options and those two options will most definitely not happen for a fee of 350 million euros. Chelsea would be able to afford them if the fee was a little bit lower. They still need a striker so Mbappe to Chelsea could be a possibility. He would also definitely fit into the Liverpool squad. They were linked with him the last time around but that was when he was going to be a free agent so I don't see this happening either. Serie A is not going to be a possible destination for him. In the Bundesliga you only have Bayern Munich and they don't ever spend a lot of money on any player so that's just out of the question. And like I said in La Liga, Barcelona, they can definitely not afford him. If they would try to buy him, they would probably need to sell their entire club. And like I said before, Real Madrid is not an option. So a transfer in January away from PSG just seems impossible. It's not going to happen. So what will his future at PSG look like? Well, he will win trophies. That is just set in stone. That's pretty clear. Ligue 1 will not be a challenge for them. The Champions League will definitely be a problem because I don't think that a team that's playing in a league like Ligue 1 gets enough resistance every single week to just get better and improve. But on the other hand, the club can still buy players. They're absolutely loaded. Players will still come to PSG because they will get a good salary. They get to win trophies. Some of the best players play there. So the team will improve. That's for sure. So winning a Champions League, it doesn't seem likely, but it can always happen. So from a sporting perspective, it seems pretty good for Mbappe at PSG. But on the other hand, the fact that this stuff has been going on for such a long time makes me think, will the players still respect him with this attitude? Because like I said at the beginning, it's pretty obvious that Neymar and Messi don't really like the guy. And if he 
really behaves like this, I can't imagine that the rest of the team doesn't get bothered by his behavior. So in my opinion, I think that this situation is just very bad for both Mbappé and PSG. Because his goal is to win the Champions League and you have to be a team in order to make that happen. All this toxicity in the dressing room is definitely not going to help that cause. And it also just seems completely unnecessary because he still has a three-year contract. If PSG wants, they can keep him for two and a half more years. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to keep him to his contract because why else would they have given him a three-year contract? He signed it, so they're completely entitled to keep him at the club. So this valuation of 350 million euros from PSG is completely justified. They know that nobody's going to pay that. They know that he still has a long-term contract, so why go lower? So in my opinion, I just think that Mbappe's selfishness will be his downfall. He wants to win the Champions League, but it's clearly not going to happen if you behave this way. Mbappe, you're a great player. Just please get your head together. This doesn't work. So guys, that's the video done. Let me know in the comments down below, what will the future hold for Mbappe? I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this story yesterday, I instantly knew I had to make a video about it because this whole situation is just way too crazy. As always, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, click my videos on the end screen right now, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.